Hi everyone, this is a tutorial on how to blend Pantone colors in Illustrator to get this effect. We had been given a document um, for InDesign where we uh, just changed the colors in the swatches panel and it was all done and set up for us. So I'm going to show you in Illustrator how to do this yourself. There's a PDF that lives online that I learned this from and the PDF is kind of overwhelming when you first look at it, but the steps are pretty clear and I'm just going to do a video because there wasn't one online. Okay, so start off with a new document and the panels that we need to use are going to be the attributes panel, the swatches panel, the color panel, and the appearance panel. So we'll just open the appearance panel up and I will put that right over here. Okay, so the first thing that we, I just want to let you know that those are the the panels that we're going to use so you can stick with me on that one. So what I want you to do is select all your swatches that are not registration white or black. So go ahead and take all of those CMYK colors, all those grays, all that weird crap that just loads, and get rid of it. Then I want you to go into the color books, and I want you to pick out any two random but very different looking swatches. So let's go with a pink and a dark blue. Those will be nice. Okay, so you can go ahead and close the Pantone window, but you might want to open it later, so, because I'm going to show you how to switch out the colors as well. So now we are going to create a rectangle, and I want you to click on the rectangle tool, and then click once, and you're going to make a square that is 15 millimeters by 15 millimeters. And the reason that you want to do that is because it's going to make a perfect square um, just like the one in this document. So the measurements are precise and they're millimeters because the person that had set this up was British, I believe. Okay, so you create that one, and you're going to go into the Appearance panel, and the fill is going to be your Pantone color, or set it to one of your Pantone colors. You're going to get rid of that stroke. You're just going to toss that away. You don't need that. Then you're going to go into the Flyout window, and you're going to add a new fill. And your new fill is going to be your other Pantone color. Yay! Okay. So that really didn't do anything. There's, it went from blue to pink. So how do we fix it? We go to the attributes panel. In order to get them to blend, we need to overprint fill. This will work if you might be confused on that your document's not showing it, but your path is showing it here. You actually have to view over prints in your, it's under the view menu, which you can't see up here because the video recording thing that I use does not let you see it, but you just go to overprint preview. So you've created your overfill um, that had mixed the two colors, and now we are going to get uh, started on the next part. So if you, for example, had your fill with the overprint underneath your other fill that's not an overprint, it's not going to work. So you need to have your fill with the overprint on top in your appearance panel. That way the two will blend. It's like a screen over the other color. It's like using multiply on the color. So once you've done this swatch and you've got it, or this square rectangle, you've got it perfectly set up like this. 
you can move on to the next step. So you are going to double click on Uh, you're going to double click on the selection tool and we're going to position this horizontally at 185 millimeters. Vertical is set to zero and those should update. So it should be 7.28 eight three five inches blah 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 and zero and the same thing in zero and you're gonna want to copy and that didn't work so let me try it again double click okay and copy all right perfect okay so we've got that now now we will select both double click again and we're just going to reverse this. So 0, and then we're going to go 185mm, and copy. So now we have the corners of our square. This, this, that, and this. Okay, so now we're going to set up the settings for how these will act towards each other. And it gets kind of confusing and I had to do it a few times so just stick with me and you will not be confused. I got to do that for you. Okay, so here we select the first upper left hand corner square. We're going to go to the appearance panel. We are going to hold down the shift key like it says and click. And this um, the tint panel comes up so you can change the tint and we want to go to zero. Okay, And we are going to do the same thing here. Shift click and go to zero. Okay, now that is white. It is not transparent, it is actually white. So just to think about that logically it's kind of helpful. We're going to go to this and we are going to change this one to this is going to be our blue swatch then we are going to need our pink swatch uh, over here so we're going to shift click and get rid of the blue and there we go okay so we've got a white a blue a pink and a purple so you want your mix to be across from your um, your mix of two colors to be across from your non-existent two colors, your negative two colors, and then your two colors to be across from each other. So select your two color, uh, so don't do that yet. Okay, object, blend, blend options, and we want to do specified steps, and we want to choose nine and say okay. Then we're going to select both. Um, of the top, and we're going to blend and we're going to make. Whoa! Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing with the bottom. I'm going to go object, blend, make. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. Okay, so now we're going to select all of those swatches and we are going to expand. And they're going to become their own happy little squares. Yay! Then we select all of those and we go to object, blend, and this is going to blow your mind. Make! Yay! Okay, so we did it. We're awesome. We're the best, raddest thing in the world. But let's say, hey, I want a yellow instead of a pink because I want some green options. So I'm going to go find my swatches panel. I am going to open up my color book and go into solid uncoated. We're going to pick this yellow because why not? And we're going to close that. So 
you choose, so this has to be done in a specific order or it won't work. So you have your new swatch color that you want to use selected. Then you hold down the command key and you click the swatch that you want to switch out with it. So I'm switching out pink for yellow. So yellow will be here and blend that way to the blue. You will go to the flyout menu in the swatches and you will merge swatches. Boom.